It's, it's it's very yeah, chilly it's out there. It only got up to 42 degrees today in the upstate. Typically we get up to 60 five this time of year. 60 is the norm across the mountains and today we only made it up to 40. So 20 degrees above or below normal for this time of year and it's going to continue to stay below normal for the next several days. Just not as cold. Fox radar 3D We've zoomed it out. It's nice and clear right now. We've got some clouds though that will be building in from the south and west later on tonight. So we won't have the full blown sunshine tomorrow, unfortunately, but it will warm up a little bit more than it did today. 39 for Spartanburg and Gaffney. It's 38 in Asheville, 42 in Greenville and 42 in Anderson. Tomorrow morning, it's going to be in the 20s again, just not 22 in the upstate like we had this morning. And there was a breeze as well. Should not be much of a wind and temperatures will be in the mid 20s. But again, still much colder than you would expect to walk out into in November. 23 for Belton, 25 for Hunt, uh, Seneca, as well as Liberty. Abbeville sitting at 23 tomorrow morning, right around 20 in Western North Carolina, but 19 from Hendersonville to Highlands, 21 up in Spruce Pine. So through the day tomorrow, it'll be a struggle to warm up again because of the fact that, well, we've got this cold air mass in place and we're going to have the clouds rolling in. So we'll likely see temperatures halt in the 40s uh, once again, but it won't get as cold into the evening thanks to those clouds. The clouds will help hold that heat in uh, from the day. So on the Carolina Sky Meter, we're going to give it a passing grade since it won't rain a whole lot through the day, uh, but we will have the clouds and temperatures still below normal for this time of year. Now let me show you the rain on future cast. We start with clouds. Looks like it's going to be rainy, right? 5 p.m. A lot of this will not even make it to the ground. It's so dry at the surface that it will evaporate before it can make it all the way to the ground. So you may see a sprinkle, but most of us just mostly cloudy at this point. Then the rain will pick up a bit. The atmosphere will moisten up a little bit more and we'll end up seeing some full blown showers by the time we get into late Thursday night. By Friday morning, there's a pretty sharp divide line to where we're seeing rain and not because the bulk of the moisture is going to be out near the coast. So if you live in Gaffney Union, you'll have a little better chance of morning showers on Friday than areas farther out to the west. So let me show you what we have on our next seven days here. Only about a 30% chance of rain Thursday evening and early Friday morning. By Friday night, things clear up. So for high school football, I think you're going to be all right. Just a little chilly in the 40s for those games. And then into the weekend, mostly sunny skies return with highs in the mid 50s. That's going to feel really nice after the last after the last several days in the low 50s this weekend in the mountains. And then we continue that warming trend into next week.